Karen, thanks. And now we're getting updates from our crew in McAllister, where the state has carried out a second execution this year. This case dates back to 1995, when 20-year-old Sharonda Clark was found stabbed to death in her apartment in Tulsa. In 1996, this man, Jermaine Cannon, was found guilty of her murder and sentenced to death by lethal injection. 28 years later, at 10.13 10, this morning, Cannon was executed for the crime. Witnesses say he looked for family that he knew and gave his family a half smile, assumingly giving them reassurance. His last words were this, I confess with my, with my mouth and believe in my heart that God raised Jesus from the dead, therefore I am saved. Thank you. Meanwhile, the victim's daughters say they were not surprised. He did not show remorse or apologize. Today, they say they begin a new chapter. Clark's daughter has asked, the victim's daughter has asked if she could tell her mother anything today, what would it be? And here was her response. I would start by saying we did it. We did it. We, we were your voice. We stood for you when you could not stand. Um, we continue to fight your fight when you could no longer. Um, so I would say she was not defeated. Cannon has claimed he killed the victim in self-defense after she came at him with a knife. However, investigators say he didn't have a scratch on him. News 4's Caitlin Ogle has been in McAllister throughout the morning. She'll have more later this evening on News 4.